Hey, Captain Holly here from Mahalo Sailing. Uh, we're going to do a little video on how to pack for a trip to the tropics. Often when we have uh, trips to the tropics or anywhere, actually, we have people show up with way too much gear. And uh, they hate that they have to haul it around the whole time. And we hate that we have to tell them they can't take it off. So here's a, here's a quick way to pack enough stuff for a week in the tropics. Um, this one is particularly for our BVI rendezvous uh, for women who sail. Uh, let's see, so I start with um, these little uh, packets. You could use a Ziploc bag. This is one of those things if you buy a set of sheets, it comes in a bag with a Velcro. Uh, you can use just about anything. If you're near an uh, Ikea store, they have great sets of these things, super cheap. Anyway, um, on our packing list, which you have received already, uh, let's start with uh, the shirts. Um, we need two t-shirts, three sleeveless tank top type shirts, and a long sleeve sun shirt. So I'm going to wear from home on the plane my long sleeve shirt as an over shirt, probably a tank top underneath because it's going to be hot when I get where I'm going, and I'm going to wear zip off the leg pants, which I'll show you in a minute. So. I don't need to pack this because I'm going to wear it, so I'll put that aside. Uh, I'm not going to wear this, I mean I'm not going to pack this because I'm going to wear it, so we'll put that aside. So now I'm down to two t-shirts and two sleeveless shirts. They slip in here real easily. All done. Um, I'm also going to need some pajamas, so I'll take my jammies and throw those in there with my t-shirt for right now. Okay, zip that up. Oops. That one's done. All right, the next thing are pants and whatnot. So we have, let's see, three pairs of shorts and lightweight pants. All right, so this is, this is double dipping right here. So here's two pairs of shorts. Here's a third pair of shorts, and these are the zip off the leg pants I referred to. So these pants, you can, they're nice, weight, um, lightweight pants, um, they, they're quick drying. You can zip the legs off and have an extra pair of shorts. So I'll wear these on the plane right before we land where it's hot. I'll be taking the legs off. It's kind of cute to do that in the airplane seat. But anyway, take the legs off, roll them up, put them in your backpack and I instantly have shorts. So actually now I have four pairs of shorts and one pair of pants. And if you get, you know, navy blue sort of dresses up nicely, so that uh, helps out on the dress up clothes if you need some. So we'll put that aside because I'm gonna wear it. Pack these up in the shorts bag. And yes, I label it with a Sharpie and uh, I do so many trips that one says shorts, one says shirts, undies, whatnot. Okay, there's that one. How about windbreakers? Here's a lightweight windbreaker. Um, it's long in the back so you don't get soaked if it rains. It has a hood on it. Um, I'll pack that last because it's going to be a waterproof layer in my bag. Uh, where you come from, it might be chilly when you first get started, so here's a lightweight fleece. Um, it's a pullover with a quarter zipper, and uh, not a super heavy one. And uh, this can go in my backpack um, that I'll carry on the plane, so we don't have to worry about those yet. Um, let's see, a Pareo, which is buried over here somewhere. Where is it? Here we go. A pareo or a sarong is just, uh, you've seen them before. They can be cotton, they can be rayon. Um, you can use these to dress up. We can show you how to tie it into a dress or a skirt if you'd like. Um, it's a great wrap after you swim. You could use it for a towel. I use mine for a sheet at night. And you can also hang it out around the cockpit as a sunshade. So it's a super uh, multi-useful tool. If you get chilly on the plane, you can even pack it in your backpack and use it for a little uh, blanket. So there's that. That's a super multi-purpose thing. Um, on these, of course, uh, these are uh, quick-dry underwear uh, from Ex Officio. 
They come in all different styles and colors. Um, they all go in the underwear department. Uh, my swimsuit top goes in there, and I usually swim in shorts. So um, that's all done too. Getting, getting down to the last bits here. Oh, we're going to take that on the plane with us, so we don't need that. Um, let's see, a little sundress, if you like. Um, not something that, you know, something you can wad up and it's not going to be all wrinkled when you go to put it on. Or, as I said, we can show you how to tie the pareo and make it into a little sundress. Um, swim, let's see, jammies are packed, swimsuits packed, shoes. You need shoes that protect your feet, don't mark up the boat, and have non-skid. So if you bring um, your regular boat shoes, they're probably going to be too hot to wear and you're, you're going to hate yourself for having to haul them around. So these stay home. Um, Flip-flops are great except that they don't stay on your feet very well on a boat. So I do take flip-flops, but I wear them um, ashore only. But probably the world's greatest shoe is a Teva. Um, they stay on your feet. You can walk through water. The soles don't mark. You, whoops, you can wear them with socks um, when you leave home so your feet aren't cold. Take the socks off when you get there and your feet aren't too hot. So uh, these are favorites of mine. And I keep them in one of these things from a set of sheets so my stuff doesn't get dirty. So there we go. That's ready to pack too. All right, then we have all kinds of odds and ends. Um, this is a really lightweight backpack I got at the Women's Sailing Convention. Um, it's comfortable, it holds a lot of stuff, and it folds up in its own pocket if you want to get rid of it. Um, and you can use this as, on the plane as your, um, as your extra carry-on. So here's a backpack, we'll set that aside. Um, you're going to need sunglasses, really good ones, and if you're lucky, you'll get one of these Mahalo sailing straps to keep it from falling overboard. Um, let's see what else you need. You're going to need, some of you use sailing gloves. You can bring those along. Um, your phone and a charging cord. And please make sure your charging cord is 12 volt, like in a car. Um, most of the newer charter boats have 110 electricity, but sometimes it's better off to have 12 volt because you can do it in a taxi or you can uh, charge it um, through a, in a cigarette lighter when everybody else is using the 110. If you like to listen to music by yourself, bring your earphones um, and a camera, your extra camera if you like, and the charging uh, cord and 12 volt for, the, for that as well. Other odds and ends is a uh, flashlight. You don't need a giant, you know, 400 pound flashlight. This is more than enough. It's to, you know, find things in the middle of the night when you're digging around and you can't find things. And all these little odds and ends can go in their own bag. Let's see what else. We need to have a wallet. Always bring extra toilet paper. Of course, your passport. And you know what these are for. Very handy. They go in the backpack. Don't forget chapstick. And I also bring a giant Ziploc bag loose in my duffel bag for wet bathing suits, wet clothes, if your shoes are icky, whatever, whatever, so it doesn't get on your clothes. Bring a handful of uh, clothes pins. And all that can go in here. Zip, zip, zip. Please, please, please bring a reusable water bottle of some kind because we don't want to buy three million of those little plastic bottles and have them fly overboard and end up on the beach and you know how that is. So bring something that we can fill from a big container and you can use it. You're going to probably drink about a gallon a day, so make sure you have that. Um, oh, a couple things here are buried. I forgot. Bug spray, not spray. Um, this is bug juice. You know, dump it on your hand, rub it on your skin. Um, if it sprays, it gets all over everybody else. It, it makes a cushion skiddy. Uh, same with um, sunscreen. They have spray sunscreen, which is a mess. So get the lotion kind. Put that 
back in here. Some people like headlamps for flashlights, which are great, except if you look at your friend with your headlight on, you're going to blind her, so be sure you don't look at your friend with your headlight on. Some of us have a little special somebody that we tape everywhere we go, so Bunny will go in there too. And my bathroom bag with all my toiletries, my meds in its original bottle, my big son's hat, and now we have to pack it all. Oh, one more thing. Uh, it's really nice to have a waterproof bag to go ashore so your camera and, and stuff doesn't get wet. But if you don't feel like buying one, you can use another Ziploc bag for that. All right, now all this has to go in a nice soft luggage, which we're going to use this one. So this is why this is so great. So when we get <clears throat> when we get on board and you get in your cabin, now you can take all this junk out of your bag, roll up your bag and get rid of it, and use all these things in a shelf or a cupboard and it's like having your own dresser with all your belongings right there. Put this in the middle. Get some shoes in there. Okay. I'll probably have this in my carry-on. That will throw it in here just because. And I always put something waterproof on the top in case your luggage sits waiting to get on a plane um, and it's raining, which happens quite often in the tropics. This will be in my backpack. Bunny usually goes in my backpack, but he can go in here today. This on top, just a little bit more waterproofy. Zip it up. If you have these handles, will you please do this? That's what that little thing's for. Please do that so when we help you load your bags, we don't rip the handles off by yanking on them wrong. Come on, get on there. This is a kind of custom unit here. Uh, the official Mahalo Sailing luggage tag. I'm ready for a week. And actually, if I went for two weeks, I just rinse things out as I went along and uh, I would only need that same amount of stuff. So thanks. We'll see you out there. Can't wait to meet you. Bye.